welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm gonna teach you how to better organize larger projects inside Premiere Pro CC. Over the years on working on small, medium, and large size projects, I've developed quite a few different techniques and workflows that drastically speed up my editing time. So in this video, let's talk a bit about a few of those. All right, so I have our BC trip opened here in Premiere Pro. This is all of the footage. It is a very big project. We have a sequence called All Footage 1, 2, and 3. In the first one, we have about 10 or 11 hours of footage, minus a little bit. In All Footage 2, we have about, again, 12 hours or so. And then in All Footage 3, we have about 10 or 11 hours. So there's a lot of footage, you know, somewhere in the ballpark of 25 to 30 hours of footage. So with a project this size, it's super important to be very organized. In our project window here, I have various folders for effects, footage, music, sequences, sound effects, and so on. Doing that allows you to quickly sort through all of the content you have, and also splitting up all of your footage into multiple sequences based on the days you filmed or the sequences of footage that you think you're gonna be putting together makes life a lot easier. So the first thing I wanna to talk to you about within organizing large projects inside Premiere Pro is color labels. So if you go up to edit, preferences, and then labels, you'll see here that I have under label colors, five different things that I've custom named and given very bright colors to. By default, Premiere Pro gives kind of bland colors. So I like to choose as bright red as I can, and same with the blue, as blue as I can. And then I base the names off how I'm gonna be labeling the footage when I'm sorting through the footage. So at the top here I have best take, then second best, good take, maybe usable, and then not usable. The not usable one is set to complete black. We have the maybe useful one is set to kind of a gray. We have a good take as blue. Second best is kind of like a pinkish red. And then our best take is our bright red. I have changed a couple of these other ones as well, but I find for my editing, having five custom labels works enough for me. And the idea is you have all of your footage laid out in several sequences and then you're gonna be copying pasting the best clips into your actual sequences. So for us, we have our video one Vancouver vlog and we've copied and pasted our best stuff into that clip. That makes up our, our full edit here. And as you can see, it is made up by red clips because those are the best clips from the day. And then of the best clips, we have a few clips that didn't quite make it as well as a couple blue clips that were considered the good takes. And then we have some of the pink takes, which were the second best takes that also didn't make it into the final edit. So this can save you a lot of time by visually organizing everything in your sequences based on color. So let's close this. Now, as we've talked about, this is a very large project. This is footage shot over 16 days during our trip. And I can tell you without a doubt, the best thing to do is within a day or two of getting back from the trip, definitely start the project and start layering it out and organizing it because it'll be fresh in your mind. The worst thing to do is wait like a month or two, then start editing it because then it won't be fresh in your mind and it's gonna take you a little longer to put it together. So beyond color labels and also editing your footage right away when you get back from a trip, the next thing is using markers. Now I really like working with markers inside Premiere Pro because it's really good for organization. As you can see here throughout my sequence I have several different markers created with titles. And setting it up this way makes it very easy to know which footage you're working with because you can jump between the different areas in your sequences and yeah it just makes life a lot easier. And to create markers, you press M on your keyboard with a timeline cursor in the spot that you want it, or you can right click and go to add marker. Once your marker is in place, you can double click it. That will open up the marker window. And then you can adjust the duration so that it appears for longer on your sequence. And then you can give it a name. Now the default duration for a marker is not very long. So you wanna make sure that you increase the size so that it lasts long enough so that the title or the name that you enter can appear within your sequence like mine are. Beyond that, you can change the marker color as well if you'd like. I don't really do that often as I find naming it is enough, but it is a cool option to know about. All right, so those are a few different techniques you can use to better organize your larger projects. It does work on medium and smaller projects because it's the same workflows, but on larger projects, it'll really add up and save you quite a lot of time. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, subscribe for more videos from us in the future, and we'll see you next time.